Hello, Our Lady of Grace family. We are so joyful to have Corpus Christi coming up on June 18th. We're excited to do our procession. And I just wanted to explain a little bit about what is Corpus Christi and what are we doing here in a few short weeks. We celebrate this feast every year, but this year it's gonna look a little bit different. I wanted to show you a book that I've been reading over the past month or so and just finished it recently. It's called The Blessed Eucharist, Our Greatest Treasure by Father Michael Mueller. He goes through basically the whole parts of our faith and how we've come to believe in the Eucharist. But he has a special chapter on Corpus Christi in general and the procession. And I wanted to read you three important details that he points out in here. The first is that the Catholic doctrine might receive aid from the festival itself when the faith in the world is going cold with heresies. So we have this procession in order to rid heresies that have come into the church over throughout the years. And we do this over and over and over again to promote that, the, that our Lord is present in the Eucharist truly and presently at every moment. The second reason he gives for the procession is that the faithful who love and seek truth and piety may be enabled to draw from the source of new life and strength in this procession. So there's virtue that is always promoted in this procession as well. But we want to be sure that as we continue this procession that we're not just going out and going around the grounds, but we're also adoring our Lord present in the Eucharist. And finally, he says that irreverence and sacrilegious behavior towards the divine majesty in this adorable sacrament may be sincere and profound adoration, be extirpated and repaired. So we acknowledge that our world, especially now, is filled with so many practices that are away from the church, away from the true presence. We want to be aware that when we do this procession that we adore our Lord and have any reparation for those who have committed any irreverence against the Holy Eucharist. So that's what this is. That's what this is all about. That's what this feast day is all about. And we are looking forward to celebrating with you in a few short weeks. Check one, two, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus.